season 2024 is starting. First event in third week, weekend of March. Larissa, Greece. We couldn't have asked for a better weather. It's just a slight breeze and no clouds and pleasant temperatures around 20 degrees and thermals that you can catch by just hand tossing your plane I was so excited about this competition which is first for me after three and a half years <clears throat> that as you can hear I got a cold about one week ago and I have to apologize for my voice but I'm so happy to be here I expect plenty of low-level thermal activity We have a crosswind across the runway, so most of the action will be over the trees. But there's a catch, so those trees are actually hiding a river underneath. And the closest bridge across this river is like 12 kilometers away. So if you land on the other side, you can either wade through it or drive like half an hour around. So it's not a good idea to land on the other side. It's better to play it safe. Very low, very slow, as expected. So only one went uh, upwind, and I guess he'll be returning too. Things happening over here. And someone decided needs, that he needs more height at the end, last five seconds, but that's it. So you see, this is about three heights on start, maybe a bit higher. And this is now the area where the thermals are unsticking from the ground. So to the west, it's about, I don't know, four or five kilometers of fields. And this steel line is actually the first decent obstacle for the thermals to unstick. And this is why everything is happening here. Mm, someone started late. Interesting. And now he can start the lowest. But there isn't much difference in height anyway, and he didn't opt for that. So, must have been a technical issue. He's going for a safe height, maybe 100 meters or so, no need. So let me now start to, let me try to focus on some action there. Like that. So this is now a game. <coughs> the lower you are, the least chances you have to find a good thermal. But if you can find it and it's wide enough for a couple of turns, then your chances increase dramatically. So that guy just over the tree line. That will be a nice struggle. enough for a turn? Maybe. And he's out. Oh, 
favor, maybe not. One more turn, and he's out, now for sure. So the other guy is in the sink as well. Okay, that was unpleasant. So the next interesting plane is over here. Let's see what he'll do. Watching him at a different angle than from the flight line, from the corridor. But still, it's now too low to do anything. So three planes down, seven still in the air. And where are the other seven? Very, very high. Four, six, seven, yes. So the closest one now is are these two. <coughs> Let's see what they will do. I think the other are in you know, pretty safe height already. Just need to wait for the time to pass. There are a few gusts of wind now, which means there's a thermal that jumped up somewhere. But not under these two guys, unfortunately. Nine but they're still high enough to find something. Come on. That's good there. Turn. Sadly, he's almost at the ground now. The other guy trying the same, but Eight on the other minutes. end of the runway. And seems like he's doing much better. Look at that. That's what we want to see. Now just ride that for a few more minutes and you're good. Seven 
he decided to come back and he's in a downdraft again. Interesting decision. Will he find another one? Six minutes remaining. Yesterday, whole day, it was very good air here in this corner at the north end of the runway. But today, it's trickier. I'm guessing that because we had a shower on Friday, there was still enough moisture on the ground on Saturday. So the field was working practically everywhere. Today I think it dried out a bit. It was a much less clouds. And thermals are getting um, a bit more infrequent. They're still plentiful, but not as plentiful as yesterday. Okay, one more try. Yeah. That was just a gust of wind. At least he made it to the point. Three planes still in the air, four, all of them very high, five, okay, well, I see all five. They're just slowly coming back. Four minutes, four minutes to do, and it looks like that's going to be easy. here Hanging over the trees, that's usually where good air starts. But now it's time to get back down. Two minutes remaining. No, 
Now they need to do a nice crosswind landing. And landing direction is free by the context director decision. And since there's only five of them left on the corridor of ten landing points, I expect that we'll all have enough room. And even if they land into the wind, it won't be much of an issue. But let's wait and see. One minute to go and they're still pretty high. The ground is flying down. And wind is picking up. Funny. seconds. Step on it guys. Seconds. No flaps. Just to the point. Flaps only at the point. Come on. Come on. It's windy. No. Okay. Let's see the second attempt. Waiting for the second start. So this is actually a pretty nice field, but as you can see all the way around, it's situated in a valley. And if you remember, news last September, Greece was hit with a pretty severe flooding. And guys here told me that this field was under almost 3 meters of water, so it was a lake. They had uh, lots of work done to clean it up back to this pristine condition. And we have to applaud them for that. It's a really nice field. Ten seconds. Well, they're downwind, so maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. Twenty seconds. Twenty five. Twenty six. Twenty seven. No, all over me basically. Ow. That was a high G turn. So let's see what happens here. So that's one guy really further back over that small hill across the river. But majority is now here. Now I have sun in my back and I don't see anything what I'm taking video of. Pointing the camera in the general direction. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, tw
or six. Okay, so looks like the guy that went farther downwind or to the north joined them. There are the rest. There are two to the south. Seven. I'm still missing one. Anyway, it looks like they're all in a good air. <coughs> ah, here's the missing one. It's the closest here. Oh, there too, there's one. Here on the ground already. How did I miss that one? to the spot. <coughs> uh, seems like this guy will share. Maybe not. No, there's just a turbulence near the ground. He will share this fate with other guy. Didn't even make it to the spot. <coughs> Like the rest were pretty smart and stayed up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. All of them accounted for. So if you're in a good air now then it's no problem going downwind because it's very likely that you will be able to return. But if you are not confident with, about that, I think it's a much safer choice to actually return while you still can and not risk a long trip around the river to the other side. Two minutes remaining. I don't know why this guy is pushing it down so fast. Looks like he got nothing but better all, all, all the way home. Who's the next one? closer here. Nine okay, don't s pull up so much, give it some speed.
there, the two of them. Eight minutes remaining. Now he needs to turn back to the landing point there. It's going to be a challenge. I think it's just safer to land in the wind and you away the landing points. I mean, yeah, like that. Can he do it? Very close. Six minutes remaining. But that's now at zero anyway. Okay, is there another thermal? Yes, looks like very good. Ride it. Very good, very good. And the other guy will make it. Uh, maybe not. It's not really willing to turn back. Just hanging there on the trees. Oh, there's one plane just overhead me, like 10 meters high. trying to do here but Next one. 
coming into the wind, but he wants too much. Will that work? Yes, he made it. Okay. Cool. <laughs> two more. Last two. And there's the last few turns to make in the thermal. Just fighting for those last seconds. It's gonna be tight. I'm not sure that was a good idea. One minute remaining. He has to go to the point. Maybe he can make another <laughs> few meters. Every second counts. Seconds remaining. <laughs> yes. Twenty seconds remaining. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Well done. Well one. one more flight. Working time will start in five minutes. I guess third flight will be pretty much the same. Maybe some pilots will risk it more or play it safe depending on their previous flights. One minute to start. <laughs> see the wind has calmed down just a tiny bit. But I see the bushes there on the other side of the runway. Moving around pretty nicely. 30 seconds to start. So what does that tell us? Look at those trees there. 20 seconds to start. The thermal just above us right now. Moving over. Prepare to launch. Okay, let's see how the pilots will read this. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, too 
Ten seconds. Four of them went forward. Twenty seconds. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty seconds. So, just two are downwind. <coughs> Four, five are into the wind. Rösner decided to play it safe <coughs> and climbed to maybe 150 meters. And looks like he had two good flights already. Now anyone close that I can show and maybe take a look towards Mount Olympus to the north. Still covered with snow. And there's one guy having fun there. Nothing whatsoever. Interesting. not the only one. Looks like this start was into the downdraft. Look at that. Look at that. Three planes down in like three minutes, but they didn't start low. They started pretty high. Field suddenly died. There's one struggling to come over the trees. He's even willing to do a turn or two. Okay. That requires some guts. Nothing. Okay, so Thomas was at 150 meters at least. Made half a circle around this whole field. And still struggling. There's something. Maybe these two guys now found something. <coughs> but over there. <coughs> but this is why motor restart needs to be an option. If people are willing to risk that much.
for motor restart there. Nine minutes remaining. Not sure what that was. That looks like it's good. <laughs> Five planes still in the air. Six actually. Eight minutes remaining. Oh, they're all struggling. <coughs> they need to find one more terminal. Like that, yes. uncomfortably low. I would have given up by now. Seven minutes remaining. Across the river. made it to the point. That guy's also down already. Not Six minutes remaining. Interesting. Wow, well, that guy also made it over the river just landed in the tall grass there. Now let's see. What the top pilots can actually do here. Three of them still in there. Five minutes remaining. <laughs> okay, someone's happy, that's good. There's still one plane there. <coughs> oh, we see. Go for a turn. Called the fighting spirit. <laughs> Four minutes remaining.
Bravo. I think that concludes our fly-offs. And let's wait for the results. Uh, <laughs> a fly of results. We will continue with the junior ranking. First junior is Mario Domenichini. in our competition. So we would like to give this prize to Yara. Number five, George Cariotis. <laughs> 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 
Number four, Alessandro Aramini. And the final three for the podium is Filippo De Luca. Bravo, Second position, Urbanis Ganis. Nikolai, come to give the trophy to you, Yanis. Bravo, Yanis. And the winner is Thomas Rosner. <laughs> No blah blah. We have a lot of time. Thomas will sing his national anthem. <laughs> 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 okay, I know it. Finally, always a little thank you for you and for the organization. A very big pleasure in being t-shirt over here. Yeah. On Friday you had a bad luck with the weather, but you made it better. So we escaped the winter and coming over here. A big pleasure, always. Thank you for that. It's our pleasure, believe me. About the drinks, we need more. <laughs> okay, I have that! Bravo! Bravo. 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 Okay. Woo. Thank you very much. Hope to, to see you next year. Thank you. What's next year? To October. <laughs> Λοιπόν, βρισκόμαστε καταρχήν ο Γιώργο Μεκάρ μου έδωσε την ευκαιρία σε ένα από τα βίντεο του να μιλήσουμε ελληνικά 
για τους Έλληνες που μας βλέπουν για να υπάρχει και μια ελληνική γλώσσα μέσα σε όλα αυτά τα βίντεο. Λοιπόν, είμαστε στη Λάρισα, ήταν το Λάρισα Meeting, ήταν ένα ε, Euro Tour. Είχαμε πάρα πολύ καλές συμμετοχές ε, από πολλές χώρες. Θα το δείτε στο βίντεο ή το έχετε ήδη δει. Ε, ε, και θέλω να πω σε όλους τους Έλληνες αερομοντελιστές που μας βλέπουν ότι πρέπει να είμαστε πάρα πολύ περήφανοι για αυτά που έχουμε καταφέρει τα τελευταία χρόνια στον αερομοντελισμό όχι μόνο στην κατηγορία F5J, γενικά. Πρέπει να είμαστε περήφανοι γιατί κάποιοι άνθρωποι έχουν δουλέψει σκληρά για να το κάνουν και κάποιοι παλιότεροι για να έχουμε εμεί αυτή τη χαρά σήμερα. Ήταν ένα εξαιρετικό αγώνα, είχε πολύ αέρα στο fly-off. Φύγαμε πίσω από τα δέντρα και ξαναγυρίσαμε. Κάποιοι δεν μπήκαν καν, κάποιοι μπήκαμε οριακά. Ήταν τέλειο. Ευχαριστούμε πολύ, Γιώργο Πεκάρ, για αυτό το βίντεο.